From the time that I met him, Wade was always brightening up the room. He always put smiles on faces and reminded us all of better times. He was a great warrior and an even better friend. I'll always miss you, my brother. <laughs> you were a really silly guy, Deadpool. Most of the time I knew you, you were a ghost. I always imagined what it would be like to fight by your side. And man, I gotta say, you were one of the strongest and funniest people I ever met. I'll miss you quite a bit, partner. Rest easy. I never got to meet you, Wade Wilson, but from what I've heard, you were nothing but positivity in spite of all the negativity that surrounded us. I wish I could have known you. Deadpool, we've had our ups and downs, but no matter what, you'll always be my family. You were a pain in the ass, but <laughs> you were a good pain in the ass. So long, friend. Well, I guess it's all over now. All the wildness that we've been through, it's over. Yeah, I can't believe we made it out in one piece. Well, I guess it's time for us to part ways. I'd stay here with you guys, but thankfully I was able to save Joy's life. Oh yeah, I never heard the story about that. It's too long to tell, believe me. Time travel and whatnot, but she's a true miracle in my life, and we're gonna go and live happily. I'm so happy for you, Travis. Well, I guess it's goodbye. Thanks, Rick, for everything. You've been by my side for it all. You're my brother. You're my brother too, Trap. Rick? <coughs> What's wrong with him? <coughs> ah! Rick! Oh my god! Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this... <laughs> this does put a smile on my face. What the? Who the hell are... Ugh, I can't move. Neither can I. Me neither. Ah! What the hell is this? What are you doing? Who are you? Oh, we know each other very well, Emmett Brown. What? How do you know my name? Here's my story, and everyone needs to hear this. Any progress today, Rick? I just don't know about this anymore, Emmett. We've been trying to build this damn thing for God knows how many years now. I don't think either of us are going to magically invent time travel. But we can't quit, Rick. Remember, our friends' lives depend on it. I know that, but be real for a minute. Time travel? It sounded crazy back then, and it sounds crazy now. Maybe we can just accept the fact there's nothing we can do. Don't be so down on yourselves. Oh my God, who are you? Are you working for Pinhead? Pinhead, I've never heard the name. You've never heard of Pinhead? You're definitely not from around here. No, I'm not. Tell me more about him. He's a maniac who has a powerful device that he can use to kill anyone. He's gotten stronger and stronger over the years and has got to be unstoppable by now. I'm sure I could defeat him easily. Uh, did you hear a word we said? This guy is unstoppable. Well, I'm more unstoppable than he is. How do you figure that? You see, I have a powerful device here of my own called the Infinity Gauntlet, and harnesses the power of these gems called the Infinity Stones. My god, where did you get these things? I've spent hundreds of years searching all over the galaxy to find them. They are all unique and have their own powers. Really? Like what? Well, I couldn't help but overhear that you were trying to time travel. Oh, um, yes, I know it sounds crazy, but... No, it doesn't sound crazy at all. Really? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. I know it's not crazy, because I know time travel is possible. How? Well, you see, my friends, one of these stones here is the Time Stone. And it does just that. Time travel. Oh my god, you can't be serious. Seriously? Yes. Now, I can tell you want to use it. I'm willing to let you use it if you help me with something. Absolutely. Anything. What is it? As you can see here, I have five Infinity Stones. There are a total of six. I need them all in order to accomplish a goal I've had for a long time. And what would that be? You see, with the power of all six stones, I could simply snap my fingers and fix all of the problems in the universe. I would double the resources of every planet so they could all thrive. Not to mention, I would definitely be able to destroy that pinhead you mentioned. Wow, that's very noble of you to do that. So let me guess, you want us to help you find the last stone. Couldn't have said it better myself. 
Didn't you say you spent hundreds of years searching the galaxy for those stones? How do you expect us to find one of those? You're absolutely right. I have exhausted every possible location and planet across the universe. But this area, which we've already established I'm not familiar with, is the last area I haven't searched yet. I know with the right help that I can find it. All right then, we'll help you find this stone, as long as you promise to let us use the time stone to save our friends in the past. Deal. I'll be sure to protect you from this pinhead if we come across him. Oh, what's your name by the way? My name is Thanos. Well, I'm Rick. And I'm Emmett Brown. It's been nice meeting you, Rick and Emmett. Now then, let's go search for the Soul Stone. I don't know about this guy, Emmett. We just met him and he's asking a lot from us. I thought we agreed never to travel this far because of Pinhead. I understand your concern, Rick, but you said it yourself. We're not going to be able to create time travel. Thanos is the only way we can finish this. I guess you're right, but something about him seems fishy. It's a risk we're going to have to take. Let's split up so we can find this stone faster. All right. Okay, looking for a stone. Excuse me. Huh? Did I hear you were looking for something? Yes, I was. Could you help me with that? Why, of course. My name is Nathan Drake. I've spent many years out here as an explorer. Many years? You look so young. Well, believe it or not, I actually came across the Fountain of Youth on one occasion. Really? Yeah, but that's a long story. Anyways, what did you need help finding? Well, I'm not sure if you heard of it, but I'm searching for this thing called an Infinity Stone. Infinity Stones? Of course I've heard of those. What interest do you have in them? That's kind of a long story too. I just needed help in finding the Soul Stone. Wow, out of all six of them, you're trying to find the one that can't be found. Come again? The Soul Stone holds a special place among the other stones. It requires something special in order for it to manifest itself. And what would that be? It requires a sacrifice. A sacrifice? Yes, a sacrifice, but not just any. In order to obtain it, you must sacrifice someone you love while the stone is on your mind. Oh, kind of a bummer, right? Anyways, I've got to be on my way. It was nice chatting with you, Mr. Emmett Brown. Emmett Brown. So long. So long. Thanks for the info. Well, well, well. Oh, Thanos. You didn't happen to hear any of that, did you? Oh, I did, Emmett. Did you know this already? That the Soul Stone requires a sacrifice? No, I swear I didn't. We both learned something new today. So what are you going to do about it? I'm sorry to tell you this, Emmett, but it's going to have to be you. What? No, please, don't hurt me. What? No. <laughs> it has to be a love sacrifice. No offense, but I don't love you. In fact, I don't love anyone at all. So what did you mean by me? I meant that you're going to have to be the one to sacrifice Rick to me. What? No, I'd never do that. You've got no other choice, Emmett. I promise his death will be painless. Besides, if you do this for me, I'm going to let you use the Time Stone, remember? You can just go back and save him. Well, I suppose you're right. But how are we going to explain this to him? We won't have to. I've got an idea, Emmett. So what happened with Thanos? I don't know, he just kind of disappeared. Maybe he found the last stone. Well, so much for that time stone thing. Let's keep working on the time machine, Rick. I've got a good feeling about this. Uh, uh. Do you feel me crushing you from the inside? Uh, stop it, please. Rick, oh my god, Rick. Uh, uh. How do you feel? Uh, I don't care. Now die. <laughs> oh my god, Rick. Rick, please, can you hear me? Uh, Emmett. Uh, Rick, you didn't have to do that. Yes, I did, Emmett. You have to do this. This is your mission. You can still save your friend's life. I will, Rick. I'll make sure Pinhead gets taken down so this won't happen to you. Emmett, thank you. For everything. Uh, Rick? Rick, no, please, no. Good work, Emmett. This disguise really worked, but I am sorry for this. <sighs> I feel horrible. There it is. Now hand it over to me. Okay, but before I do, 
promise that you'll kill Pinhead after you double the universe's resources. There's a 50% chance of that. What do you mean by that? Emmett, I might as well be honest with you for helping me and all. I'm not going to double the universe's resources. I'm going to do quite the opposite, actually. I'm going to kill half of all life. What? I know how that sounds, but believe me, it's the best thing that could ever happen to humanity. No, that's crazy. Think of all the innocents, all of the children, all of the- I know already. I've been going through this in my head over and over again for many years. This needs to be done, to prevent our own extinction. Why didn't you tell me the truth? You think you'd do all this for me if I had told you that? No, I wouldn't have. Well, there's your reason. So I hand over the stone to you, you snap your fingers, and then half of all life is just gonna vanish away? That's the idea. And you're still gonna let me use the time stone? Yes, that was and still is a promise. How do I know that I'll survive the snap? You don't. There's a 50% chance you won't, but that's how it works. It's all at random. How about you let me use the time stone first then? No, I need all six stones to do this. I'll let you use it afterwards if you're still alive. No, I can't be a part of this madness. Give me the time stone now. You're beginning to test my patience, old man. Hand over the stone. I don't want to hurt you. My, my. What do we have here? Huh? Who's this? That's Pinhead. Oh, so you're Pinhead. You don't look so strong to- Is there someone else here? I know you're back there. Come out now. Run all you want. I will find you someday. He's dead. Well, I guess he won't be needing the time stone anymore. Well, it's gonna take me a while to repair the time machine and also incorporate the time stone into it. I'm coming back for you, Rick. I'm sorry for what I've done. So now, do you see why I must do this? That... that can't be true. There's no way Emmett would have done that. Who's kidding who, Travis? You and him are the same person. Of course you do that. You really thought that an old fool invented time travel? Did you really think you could accomplish such a feat? I... I... Just accept the truth. There's no way around it. Fine, but how do you know all of this? That was an alternate version of you. The Time Stone allows me to see all 14,605 possible outcomes of my journey to retrieve the stones. That was the one that your friend Emmett came from. So what now then? I've spent countless years viewing the possible outcomes. 14,604,000 of them end with me only having five stones. But this one, this is the only one where I have all six of them. So you've seen how this ends? It hasn't ended just yet, so no. It's just a blur. But it is a fact that I do end up with all six. And this brings us to our dilemma here. You're gonna have to do the same thing Emmett did. And that's by sacrificing one of your friends here to me. What? No way. The soul stone requires this, as I've said. I figured we'd start with Rick here, since we all know you're capable of that. You're crazy if you think I'll actually do this. And what do you mean, start? I figured you'd say no, so I'm going to go through your friends here one by one until you sacrifice one of them to me. If not, well, they'll all die, and then I will kill you slowly. No! Emmett! No! Don't listen to him, Travis! Uh, Travis! What's it gonna be, Travis? Make a choice. <laughs>